Hello, this is another m &E Productions uh, Transformers Cyberverse review. Uh, right now I'm doing uh, Bumblebee Mobile Battle Bunker. It came in a pack. And as you can see, I have little Bumblebee up there. Legend class, or Legion class. Um, I don't know, they changed the name. Uh, right now, this Bumblebee in particular, he came with a jetpack. And, and of course he came with a big green truck, uh, so, you know, get to that later. Um, the jetpack's actually really, really detailed. Uh, right here it has these little slots where it can just kind of go in. I don't know if you can see that because of my poor quality, but, uh, this thing kind of moves up and down on his back, but you can take it off, you know, and it kind of snaps off, and it doesn't really connect to anything, it's still blank. So that means you can connect this to other bumblebees, and it does fold up to a little neat, you know, I guess you could use it as a, as a shield or something, but, you know, if you wanted to, you can fold it up on his back, like Buzz Lightyear or something, but, yeah, now I'll get to that. Um, the bumblebee is actually pretty, I guess, okay. Um, one of his hands is open, and one of his hands, I think that is a gun. I don't know, it looks like the gun from the movie. Um, he has a pretty simple transformation. Tuck the feet in there. Yay, yay, yay. Get those legs up in there. Now, there is something pretty disappointing about this Bumblebee in particular, which is why I didn't at first want to do a review of this, because it was, it was a factory error, or maybe it was because it was sitting in the box too long, but I'll get to that later. I just got this guy, so I'm not that used to it. But uh, as you can see, the vehicle mode uh, he's different from the other Legion class or Legend. He's different from the other mini Bumblebee in the way that his grill is uh, uh, silver. Uh, the headlights are silver, and he has that nest symbol on the side of the door. Or I don't know if it's nest. It could just be an Autobot symbol. It has little. I don't know. They're not flames, but they're little lines. Um, on the front, on the scoop, it has the racing stripes. It kind of goes around, but it doesn't have the classic bumblebee stripe that it did. It does have a spoiler. It is black. Uh, it doesn't have stripes that go across the top, which I'm a little disappointed about because, you know, the third movie had that, and it was, was so special about it. But, uh, really interesting figure. Of course, um, the doors, they don't want to go down, I guess, because it was in the box too long. Maybe if you got this, it would be different, but yeah, it's just my luck. So, okay, there's Bumblebee on his little set, which is a pretty decent set. Uh, it's basically like a nuclear uh, factory attack, or I, I think something like that. Well, if you wanted to read the little bio, you know, it is on the side of this box here. You can probably pause it and read it. No. Yeah. Has a little picture of Bumblebee on the back. Has these three pictures of you know, the different modes it can be in the three in one converting action set. And it says collect, convert and the battle and entire Transformers universe, technical data, cyberverse. In front of the box, I took that little thing out. Originally this display was folded up in there, but anyway, there's the box. I don't want to stick too much to the box. I want to, you know, do the figure. So, yeah, there's Bumblebee. Now, let's get to the truck. Get him out of the way. Uh, this thing is actually pretty easy to, assemb to assemble, so... Yeah. You don't have to have tape or anything like that. Uh, the truck is actually really big. It's bigger than you think. Uh, compared to Bumblebee, you know, it means like that big. Yeah. And you can fit two cars on here because it has a, another top to it. You can put maybe Sideswipe or Bumblebee in here. Or you can probably put Barricade in someone else, which is a very unlikely circumstance that they would be on. But okay, let's transform this thing. Now, the first mode is <coughs> basically Assault Mode, which I guess is, you know, if he's driving down the street and he gets ambushed or something. Ambushed or something. And I guess he can do this. And I guess he can do this. Not on ball joints on this little, this little hinge thing. This thing does come off, and it can be used as a mech tech weapon. 
uh, it does have a little fire and missile. And it has that little uh, thing on there. I don't get. You know, I tried to put it in a Bobby's hand to see if it was some sort of weird gun, but it's not. And that thing, it's not very strong. It likes to fall down. Ugh. But you can put Bumblebee on here. Yeah, I might want to transform him again. There we have him again. And uh, I'm going to put him on the truck. Uh, he can kind of hold it, but he has a hard time holding it. Uh, I don't know if you can really see this well, but I'll bring it to you. There's two handles here, and, you know, he has this door kind of in the way, so he can't really hold it that well. Um, yeah, not exactly a cool thing to play with. If you're talking, you know, you just want to play with this thing. I forgot I had this zoomed in, no wonder. Uh, technically not a very good thing to play with, but, you know, if you just want him in display, or if you're doing stop motion, like I do, <coughs> you can just have him kind of... Well, if he'll want to stand for me. Uh, yeah, there. Well, anyway, you can have him in that little uh, assault mode, if you will. And, you know, give a little definition of how the missile fires. You can, yeah. So you have a little truck. If it won't stop rolling, uh, you can fire at that. And the missile doesn't go that far. It probably goes maybe two feet. Maybe three feet if you're lucky. But. Okay, and I'm going to transform this into the other stage, which is the, um, gosh, I forgot the name, but it's uh, a battle base, yeah. This thing is very simple to transform. Okay, um, this is the little battle base that they were talking about when you get that missile in there. just doesn't look right without the missile. I don't know. just doesn't look like a gun to me. It just looks like a little solar panel. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's the little base. You can have Bumblebee kind of stand on here like you see in the picture. But, uh, now right there. I, I guess that's really, you know, cool, but... Uh, you can have more than one figure on this base. Yeah, it's not very likely, but... This gun, it does, it comes off, it's on this little hole in here. Let's see if you can get that off. You probably saw it when it was transforming, but... It's like that little hole thing, you can, you know, attach it back in there, you can attach it to... The other way. You can attach it to that, like this one, that one, but... It can also be used as a mech tech weapon. Let me get shockwave down here so I can show you. Uh, yeah, I got his arm. Yeah, I'm sorry this isn't part of the review, but you know, just to show you that this is indeed a mech tech weapon, and I'm not just screwing around with you. You know, it does stay on there. There we go. So I guess you can kind of use it, you know, swivel back and forth and. You know, do a bunch of weird stuff, but get that off. Okay. Anyway, you saw. Yeah. Generally, I won't be using it as a mech tech weapon, but well, in all, all in all, this is a pretty decent set. Um, definitely, if you want to collect all these cyberverse things, this is a set that you should get. Um, the bumblebee in the set may not be to your liking, which is it's not for me. You know, I just like the way the the movie version looked. I don't like the way they've repainted it. But, uh, oh, one more thing. Forgot this. When this thing is in vehicle mode, and you're trying to figure out a... Dang it. Anyway, you're trying to figure out a place where you can store the jetpack. Um, it's a pretty cleverly hidden uh, little spot in here. Um, on the underside of the ramp that Bumblebee gets on, it has these uh, two little holes, and it has this little thing. Well, that's exactly what this has. It kind of flips over. goes in there, like so. If it will want to go in there. It's generally pretty easy to get it in there. It's kind of a little hard to get it out because it's a little stiff. It just wants to stay in there. But 
yeah, it's a little storage for the shield, which I think was pretty neat. And I did not put the gun back on this thing before I put it in there, so now it's going to be hard to get out. There. Yeah, definitely don't want to do that. Uh, this version I got it at Walmart. I swear they had a sale on these, and they looked. I thought they were twelve dollars each. Unfortunately, they were fifteen, which wasn't very you know, cool anymore. But I got two of these things today. I got Optimus and Bumblebee, and uh, I the guy will want to stand for an exit. Uh, I recommend this set, definitely. And this little missile you can kind of store right here. Okay, and uh, um, if you want to see any more reviews, you can just look on my, um, I guess my videos, and I have a lot, a few more reviews I'm going to be posting. Um, well, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, hope I wasn't too bad. It's my first one. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you later.